I was really proud of how we uh, came out and offensively shared the ball better than we have in any game all season. Uh, and sometimes to a fault, but I'd rather have it be that way. Uh, we did a great job of playing for others and uh, trusting one another that if I give it up, I'll get it back. So that was great to see. And we uh, did a good job with our pressure that made it hard for them to run set plays. And they're, they're a team that's pretty effective on half-court set plays. So it was a good, good win for us. Uh, and it was a win that it didn't have a lot of lulls to it. I thought our energy and concentration and effort was there for the, for the 40 minutes. We did uh, probably a better job with getting kids, getting guys in and out before they got tired rather than right after they got tired and gave up a basket. So great play off the bench. I thought Shrigley and Polee in particular did a good job for us. Uh, defensively, uh, Dwayne at the front at the point of that press, uh, he's a hard guy to throw over and around. He gets his hands on a lot of balls. And I thought Matt was really alert in the full court. So this was a nice win for us. Anything for me? Coach, uh, San Jose came out, he had a couple threes. Uh, we were down 9-8, first media timeout. And then out of that first timeout, X Thames hit his first attempt. And Foley and guys seemed like they were scrambling on the floor. Did you make any sort of adjustment in that first timeout or any particular direction that gave him some new energy? They, they take and make a lot of threes. So we, that was uh, when we talked about what are the top keys, we said field goal defense. And we wanted them, we set a goal five, five threes for the game. And they had five threes almost at the first TV timeout. So you have to, you have to make them feel you. You have to make them feel a little more pressure. And uh, after that first segment, I thought we were better. The second half, we were really good until the last three and a half minutes of the game. So we got, we got better at it, and we made them take harder threes as the game wore on, which is what you have to do with guys that can shoot. Coach, police said that the New Mexico game was kind of served as a reality check and refocused them for tonight. Would you say that was accurate? No, probably not. Uh, uh, I think any time you lose, you, you say, Here's big reasons why we lost. Uh, this team has been really good all year about coming ready to practice, coming ready to play. We got spanked at New Mexico. Uh, I think we got a little jittery with whatever reason, whether it be the crowd, uh, the opponent. But I, I, no, I would not say a reality check. Uh, I would say that we lost a game that we wanted to win and we got, we got beat pretty badly. So we wanted to return the favor tonight, and we were able to do it. Uh, Skyler Spencer had a couple blocks early. Um, I feel like there are a lot of stats, or actually lack of stats. Um, uh, sorry, let me start over. <laughs> Skyler Spencer defensively, um, you know, he gets the blocks, but he also seems to alter a lot of shots. He, other free, other teams don't take free throws. Um, He's in the game. How, how critical is he to making that to connect in the defense and making it all work? We talked about that at one time out. Yeah. We said you have to guard the ball harder because you got your rim protector behind you. And you're exactly right. I thought he did a great job of you can read the stats, how many blocks he had, but he had three times as many shots that he altered when people came in. He's becoming pretty astute at knowing when to run at a guy and when to kind of fake at him and let him come to, to the rim a little bit more. And he anchors the defense for us in there. And, and it show, when he's not in there, it shows, too. So he, does a, he does a nice job. I 100% agree with you uh, with stats that don't show to help you win, to help your defense. So it's interesting. You say, you know, and, and uh, Dwayne said the same thing. You know, it's a guard's dream to have him back there because they can go and close out hard. So. Is it fair to say that Skyler's presence would affect even three-point shooting percentage just because they're able to close out like that? Well, you don't want to let anybody just 
sweep and drive by you, but you have to, so you have to guard the ball, but you know that uh, you don't have to be cautious either because when, when somebody does get a half a step on you, Skyler's going to be back there, and they're thinking about him also. So he's, a, he's getting better. He's getting better in everything he's doing, from free throw shooting to uh, knowing how to play to wanting the ball to doing what he does best, and that's block shots and alter shots. You're talking about X? What, what did you just say? 50 points inside the paint tonight. I was just asking about your, yeah, your team scored 50 points in the paint tonight. Um, was it kind of uh, your plan to head into a game with you know, establishing inside presence in terms of offensive the production? And, and what do you just kind of think of your big tonight and um, what will the score in the book? I know I can hear, but I can't hear one thing you're saying to me. So help me one more time, louder and clearer. In the paint, coach. What is it? Fifty points in the paint tonight. Was that a? Oh, well, we had fifty points yeah, in the paint. Just to get your bigs going. I'm sorry. The play of your bigs. Um, we've got to get some baskets inside, and it come. They can come in a lot of ways. It can come off attack off the bounce. It can come off offensive rebounds. It can come off. You know, pitching it inside. I was happy that James Johnson got an opportunity to play tonight some, and he got when he got touches, he got baskets, which was nice to see for everybody, uh, especially him. So uh, we had size on them in most spots. So you take advantage of what you have on that also. So uh, you we're we're a team that. Uh, I think we're pretty good at attacking off the bounce. When we played them at their place, we shot 39 free throws. And a lot of those free throws occurred off of attacking the rim off the bounce, the one, one form or another. And tonight we shot 31 free throws. So this is really who we are. We're a team that gets to the free throw line and a, a tremendous number of times. And our goal every game is to make more than you take. So. We have to continue to be smart, aggressive when we go. You can't just lower your head and run over people. But I thought we did a pretty good job of that.